I've got friends that I know that I'm only gonna hear from in a time of need. I've got friends that hit me up when it's been a long time they ain't heard from me. I've got friends that will do all if I make that call and tell him it's peak. If he puts you on a shirt, he did it for me, it's a loyalty. I've got friends that won't go anywhere else, she calls me the TBE. I've got friends that I call my G. Couple day ones with me. I've got friends that started out like that, but she turned into a queen. Back in the palace, ain't where you find my royalty. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is His Excellency wants the winner of Arthur Betabiev and Dmitry Baval to fight Jai Epataya. Uh, and, you know, we're going to talk about what we think about that. I'm going to turn it over to you, G. Um, well, first, I'd like to say, <laughs> if I butcher my man's name, please forgive me. So, Turkey... Ala Shadiq. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I must have. But you know, like His Excellency Turkey Ala Sheik. Ala Sheik. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Like I like to say salute to this guy, man, because he's putting literally boxing on his back, you know, and he's getting the, the big fights to happen, you know. So uh salute to him for that one. And I like this idea of Better BF, the winner of Better BF versus Baval, and then moving up. To, to fight Ja Abadiah, you know, um, like, I think, I, I think Better BF personally could beat them both, you know, um, but uh, Ja does have knockout power, clearly, you know, so it'll be interesting, man, that'd be a great fight, you know, and, um, you know, from a marketing standpoint, I think, you know, like, uh, Better BF going to Saudi Arabia, you know, as a Muslim brother, I, I think that'd be huge for the Muslim world, especially in boxing, you know. Um, so I, I think that would be huge. Um, same thing if, uh, you know, if, they, if he can land that tank versus uh, Devin Haney fight, you know. Um, so I, I just feel like, you know, because usually in boxing, like you'll see either people play like the, the nationality card, even the race card at times. But, you know, it, it's rare to actually see like, people come together through like the religious aspects you know so i think they have the stars to actually showcase that for the muslim uh community so i, I think that's pretty interesting you know so i would definitely uh and i think better be would be that guy you know so i definitely think uh what the sheik is doing you know ala sheik what he's doing is um you know pretty interesting for for the boxing world you know, um, so yeah, man, salute to him. Uh, I'm in huge favor of this decision because I feel like throughout the history of boxing, the light heavyweight and cruiserweight division typically doesn't get as much shine as the other divisions. And you look at Arthur Better B of a man who's 20 wins, 20 knockouts, 100% KO ratio. It's like he's definitely one of the most exciting fighters, but. I feel like he's just now starting to get the recognition that he deserved to have years ago. He was more of like a fighter's fighter. Like if you were in the sport of boxing and you know, then people know about Arthur Better Bev. you know, the legend of Arthur Better Bev. And I feel like that legend's starting to grow finally to where he's at least starting to make the top 10 pound for pound list of the casual fans. But um, <clears throat> I do think that one, putting on Better Bev versus Paval, is 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 great we we would get to see undisputed at 175 pounds and ever since we started to get these undisputed fights in the uh the four belt era which has been difficult i think it's been exciting for boxing because we're starting to get that one face one champion one name recognition where we could actually have superstars and then for uh the superstar that emerges between Better BF and Baval to move up and take on Jaya Pattaya at cruiserweight, who is clearly the number one cruiserweight at the Beat and Breeders. And even if he got stripped for the title, he still has the ring. We all know who's number one. I think that makes for a great, great fight as well. So you got two great fights involving the light heavyweight division and the cruiserweight division that I think would gain recognition and actually make the casuals more intrigued with their division. So I think it's a win-win. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you can listen to our podcast on all major streaming services. 
Buckingham Palace is out now. Listen to it. Uh, you listen to it. You find it on our trails page. We are the Boxing Brothers.